Special Counsel Jack Smith pushed back on former President Donald Trump's claim that he should be covered with absolute immunity from criminal prosecution, arguing in a new filing Saturday that the sweeping claim threatens give presidents a license to commit crimes remain in office. Smith's response to Trump's immunity claim in case to overturn the federal election comes ahead of oral arguments scheduled for Jan. 9 at U.S. Appeals Court in Washington, D.C. On the contrary this defendant's claim is that he cannot be held accountable to the accusations that he was involved in an unprecedented crime. Even though we lost the election, it is an effort to retain power through criminal means that threatens the democratic and constitutional foundation of our republic. Smith wrote in his new file, the court should expeditiously approve and issue authorization to further compelling interests of public and defendant in a speedy resolution of this case, he added. Pretrial proceedings in his case to overturn the federal election have been temporarily suspended. After Trump appealed a district court judge's ruling that, as a former president, he is not entitled to immunity for potential crimes he committed while in office. The trial was originally scheduled to begin on March 4. The former president's lawyers have repeatedly argued for the trial to be held after the 2024 presidential election in November. Trump's fight over his immunity claim also underscores these efforts. If the circuit moves quickly on these arguments, which special counsel and the trial judge say are unconvincing, it's possible that Trump's trial date will remain as scheduled. In his filing Saturday, Smith warned that granting such broad immunity to a former president poses extreme danger. The consequences of the defendant's theory of broad immunity are serious. According to it, court may consider a correspondence with government official regarding matter federal interest, meeting with member of the executive branch, or statement regarding matter public concern, filing states. This approach would provide immunity from criminal prosecution for accepts bribes exchange for steering lucrative government contract payer. A instructs director FBI plant incriminating evidence about political enemy. A ordered National Guard kill his most prominent opponents. Sells nuclear secrets for an enemy. Because in each of these scenarios can only claim be enforcing law. Contacting Department Justice. Exercise his powers as commander-in-chief. Participating foreign diplomacy, he adds. In Saturday's filing, Smith also rebutted Trump's claim that criminal prosecution would result in double jeopardy because he was acquitted by the Senate during impeachment proceedings. Because a former president does not have kind of broad immunity the defendant argues for. Denial of his motion to impeach should be affirmed and this case should proceed to trial, Smith wrote. But this simple conclusion does not prequel.